Hello, my name is Anna Harlan, and I'm the Family and Consumer Signs Agent for Stone County, Arkansas, and today we are going to be making blackberry jelly with added pectin. The equipment you will need includes a boiling water canner, half pint jars, rings and single-use lids, jar funnel, magnetic lid lifter, jar lifter, metal sieve, jelly bag or cheesecloth, headspace measurement tool, ladle, masher, and stirring spoon or spatula, bowls, colander, and sauce pot. This recipe for blackberry jelly includes three and a half cups of blackberry juice extracted from three and a half quarts of blackberries, four and a half cups of sugar, and one package powdered pectin. This will yield five to six half pot jars full of blackberry jelly. Since using added pectin in this recipe, all ripe fruit can be used. Prepare fruit in small batches enough for one recipe. Sort the fruit, discarding all damaged portions. Wash berries carefully to prevent loss of juice. Drain, remove caps, and stem. Place fruit in a flat bottom saucepan. After you have placed your fruit into your flat bottom saucepan, add cold water. For berries, use only enough water to prevent scorching. Then you will crush the berries to start the flow of juice and bring to a boil on high heat. Stir constantly to prevent scorching. After you have brought your berries to a boil on high heat, reduce heat. Continue to stir to prevent scorching. Berries need 10 minutes or less to cook until soft. Do not overcook. Excess boiling will destroy the pectin, flavor, and color. Use your ladle to pour berries into your metal sieve. Then begin working the berries through the metal sieve. After working the berries through the metal sieve, you will need to pour everything into a damp jelly bag and suspend the bag to drain the juice. The clearest jelly comes from the juice that is dripped through a jelly bag without pressing or squeezing. All jams, jellies, and pickled products Processed less than 10 minutes should be filled into sterile empty jars. Wash canning jars in hot water with detergent and rinse well by hand or wash in a dishwasher. Stand the empty jars upright on a rack in the boiling water canner filled with clean water. There should be enough water to fill the jars and still come to a level 1 to 2 inches above the tops of the jars. Bring the water to a boil and boil for 10 minutes. If you are at an altitude of 1,000 feet or more, add one minute of sterilizing time for each 1,000 feet of altitude. Turn down the heat. The water in the canner should not be boiling when it is time to load the filled jars. Sterilized jars can remain in the hot water until they are ready to be filled. Measure juice and pour into saucepan. Add pectin and stir well. Place on high heat, 
stirring constantly, bring quickly to a full rolling boil that cannot be stirred down. Add sugar, continue stirring and heat again to a full rolling boil. Boil hard for one minute. After boiling hard for one minute, remove from heat. Skim foam off quickly. Remember the jelly mixture is very hot and take precautions not to burn yourself. If the empty pre-sterilized jars are being held in your canner, remove them from the hot water one at a time, tilting them to quickly empty the water in them back into the canner. Be careful not to burn yourself. To make sure they are completely drained, the jars may be turned upside down on a clean towel on the countertop. Work quickly to ensure that the filled jars stay as hot as possible until they are all filled and ready to be processed. Fill pre-sterilized or clean hot jars quickly with the hot jelly mixture, leaving 1 quarter inch headspace. Use the headspace tool to get an accurate measurement of the 1 quarter inch of headspace. Wipe the sealing surface of the jars with a clean towel dampened with hot water to remove any jelly or sugar crystals. Then adjust the lids. Once again, be careful not to burn yourself. Load the filled jars fitted with lids into the canner fitted with the rack one at a time using a jar lifter. Make sure the jar lifter is securely positioned below the neck of the jar and ring band. Keep the jar upright at all times. Tilting the jar could cause the hot jelly or jam mixture to spill into the sealing area of the lid, which should remain clean and undisturbed. The water in the canner should be at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit or can be slightly hotter when the jars are lowered into it. The water level in the canner should be one to two inches above the tops of the filled jars. Turn the burner under the canner to its highest setting. Cover the canner with its lid and heat until the water boils vigorously. Process the jars for the recommended number of minutes after the water boils. The water in the canner must remain boiling during the entire process time, so keep the heat source on high and a tight lid on the canner. Recommended process time for blackberry jelly in a boiling water canner depends on the altitude. Recommended time for altitudes of 1,001 to 6,000 feet is 10 minutes using the hot pack method for half pint and pint jars. When the jars have been processed in boiling water for the recommended time, turn off the heat and remove the canner lid, tilting the steam away from your face. Wait five minutes before removing jars from the canner to allow the boiling and jar contents to settle. However, this waiting period is not required for the safety of the food. Remove jars from the canner. Use a jar lifter and keep jars upright. Carefully place the hot jars directly onto a towel or cake cooling rack, leaving at least one inch of space between the jars during cooling. Avoid placing the jars on a cold surface or in a cold draft. 
Cool jars upright for 12 to 24 hours while a vacuum seal is formed and the jelly sets up. Let the jars sit undisturbed while they cool. When using the common two-piece metal caning lid system, do not tighten ring bands on the lids. Also, do not push down on the center of the flat metal lid until the jar is completely cooled. After the jars have cooled for 24 hours, remove ring bands from the sealed jars. Put any unsealed jars in the refrigerator and use first. Wash, rinse, and dry jars and lids to remove all residues. Label and store in a cool, dry place out of direct light. To obtain the accurate processing time for your altitude, visit the National Center of Home Food Preservation website. And to obtain the elevation info for your county, visit anyplaceinamerica.com. Thank you for watching, and please follow At Home with UAEX, UAEX Stone County, or your local county extension service.